Bora TV. The world is thinking. And we talk in our health books of a bridge to a bridge to a bridge. So people say, oh, you take all these supplements and do all these special things with nutrition. Do you really think that's going to enable you to live hundreds of years? And the answer is no. The goal of what we call bridge one is just to get to bridge two. And bridge two is what I've been talking about, reprogramming the information processes underlying biology. And that's really not yet fully impacted or even begun to impact in a significant way clinical practice, but it will within 20 years. I believe in 15 years we'll see very dramatic effects from biotechnology. That's bridge two, which brings us to bridge three, which is going beyond biology with nanotechnology, things like nanobots in the bloodstream to augment our immune system and so on. And then that'll lead to later points where we can actually capture the information of our lives. It's not just a metaphor to say that our memories, our skills, our personality is an information file. People will think it's crazy a uh, hundred years from now that we actually went through the day without backing up our mind file, kind of like the way I would think if somebody didn't back up their email. Um, so this will come in f stages. You know, we can never walk in here and say, you know, I've achieved immortality because it's never an infinite amount of time. Uh, but I think we can Actually, it, uh, we have, I believe, identified what the markers of aging are, the real markers of aging. Telomeres is one. Genetic errors in the mitochondria, which are these relatively unprotected genes outside the nucleus, is another. And if we had more time, we could go through them all. Uh, we will get ways of actually reversing uh, those aging processes and uh, remaining youthful. Uh, people, you know, so when uh, we talk about living hundreds of years, think, oh, my God, I don't want to be a 95-year-old as they think of them today uh, for hundreds of years. But that's not what we're talking about. And then people say, okay, even if I was a healthy, robust 35-year-old for hundreds of years, you know, it would get pretty boring to live hundreds of years. But that's also not what we're talking about because we're talking about the future getting more and more interesting with full immersion virtual reality environments and... Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting future that at least I personally would like to be around for.